you probably know a man named Kanye West. Um, he's been in and out of the news forever, basically. Um, and recently, you know, he's been in some he's been in some deep stuff. He did it. He's been in some very, very deep stuff. And um, he has not really come out and apologized. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, he says some pretty messed up stuff about um, Jewish people, specifically Jewish media is what he kept saying. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was uh, pretty wild. But I figured, you know, people people that do a lot of times influencers, Kanye, obviously not so much, but influencers and other celebrities, they'll they'll do or say things that um, make them look very, very bad. And then they will eventually come back and come out with an apology video. And I thought it'd be interesting to see if we could get chat GPT to write Kanye West's apology video to the Jewish community and see what happens. I thought that would be pretty interesting. Um, write an apology video script as Kanye West, or should I say from Kanye West's perspective? From Kanye, because that's a thing too. You can like put in, if you're doing like a song, you can put in, um, like write it as Drake or write it or write it from the perspective of Drake. So kind of try to mimic his style. Um, write an apology video script from Kanye West to the Jewish community for the negative things he said. There's no way it's doing this one. There's no way. Hello, I am Kanye. Oh my God, dude. Here, wait. Put, can you stick me in the corner for a second? Because I, I might be animated here for a while. Read okay. Hello, I am Kanye West. I am writing this video to apologize to the Jewish community for the negative things I have said in the past. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest regret for any hurt or offense that my words may have caused. I understand now that my words were not only hurtful, but also perpetuated harmful stereotypes and misconceptions about the Jewish community. I want to make it clear that I do not in any way condone anti-Semitism or discrimination of any kind. I realize now that my words were not only offensive, but also perpetuated harmful stereotypes and misconceptions about the Jewish community. I want to take this opportunity to apologize to the Jewish community and uh, to all those who were offended by my words. I am committed to educating myself and growing as a person. I will work to be more sensitive and thoughtful in my words and actions, and I pledge to do everything in my power to be a better ally to the Jewish community and all marginalized groups. I hope that you can find it in your hearts to forgive me, and I look forward to working together to create a more inclusive and loving society for all. Thank you. Dude, that is that is insane. PR departments are fucking done. That's better than most. I mean, first, what I, Kanye would have to do a little bit more, I think. They, this, the AI doesn't know the extent of what he is apologizing for in this, we'll say, hypothetical scenario I've created. But like that's that's pretty crazy, dude. I mean, just imagine if most YouTubers, when they fucked up over like some like little shit, when they come out and they do the apology that makes them look a million times worse, if they just did this instead, they're like, hey, this is what I did. I scammed my fucking followers on some crypto shit. Can you write me an apology for that and explain why I it, I got scammed too and I didn't know it was a scam or something? This guy would probably do it. And you could just come out and be like, you could teleprompter right to the left or right of the camera, whatever, on the side of the camera, and you fucking just sitting there reading off a teleprompter. That's that's pretty interesting. Thanks for watching that last video, guys. Click right over here to see the episode in its entirety. Or click over here to subscribe and check out all the other cool shit we have on the channel. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do it.